Hey you guys, welcome back. So last week I did a video where I was recreating outfits from Pinterest and this week I thought I would do a similar thing but recreating some outfits from my favorite style muses. I have seen a lot of other YouTubers do this and I always love these videos when they do. Today I decided to do my ultimate style muse. I'm sure you guys can tell if you've watched my channel for a while or follow my Instagram. Follow along. One of my favorite style icons, one of the people I always draw inspiration from and have been for many years is Anina Bing. And actually, Sinya from Use Less, the way I discovered her channel was when she was doing that Steal Her Style series and she did an amazing one on Anina Bing. Anina Bing is obviously a style icon for a lot of people, so I thought I would come up with a few different outfits that are inspired by her that I saw on her social media using pieces that I already have. So let's get into it. So I think you'll find as I kind of do more of these videos that a lot of the people that I find my style inspiration from, it's very rooted in basics. So it's very easy to take the elements from the outfit and recreate it for yourself using pieces that you already have at home. For many years, I used to feel like I needed that exact item in order to achieve that exact look. And I never felt quite right with the way I ended up recreating the outfit because the pieces weren't exact. But the the truth of the reality is, is that it's gonna look different on me than it does on the first person you saw it. Our body shapes are different. The way we wear clothing is different. Our access to clothing is different. And I think if we can start to approach getting dressed and coming up with outfits from the perspective of what is it about this outfit that I love? What is it about this outfit that sparks that ooh and that inspiration feeling and what is it about the outfit what are the elements of it that i already own that i can use to recreate the look and get that same feel so it's not necessarily about having the exact piece sometimes it's fun to have the exact piece but it's not always necessary and that's what i really want to drive home because i got so caught up in wanting the exact item and then i would still always sort of feel a little bit disappointed like i was never really wearing the style the way i wanted to um, and that's because it just looked different on me than it did on the initial person that I saw it on. So just take the elements of what it is about the look that you like and try it yourself with what you've already got. So I decided to pick five outfits that I have saved or either screenshotted from Anina Bing's Instagram. So the first look here that I chose is very classic Anina Bing. The key bits to this whole look is a pair of jeans, a structured blazer or a slightly oversized black blazer, any black or gray t-shirt if it's a graphic tee bonus. She's got some gold accessories here and a pointy style shoe with a kitten heel. So these jeans are some of my favorites. They are the 90s cheeky straight jeans from Everlane and I did have an Anina Bing graphic tee that I could pair with this look so I did decide to go with that but if you don't have anything like that just pick a black tee, a gray tee, or any t-shirt that you'd like and then I just threw on this really structured oversized black blazer from Aritzia. I didn't have any sort of python style heels. I did have this pair of kitten heels and this is about as high as I'll go for a heel, which did have the pointy toe, which I think makes this outfit a little bit more feminine, but she still adds that rock and roll edge by having a graphic tee and adding some cool chunky accessories and a really cool pair of sunglasses. In this photo, her sunglasses are white. I don't have anything like that, so I'm just using what I've got. But this is just to give you an idea of how she puts the outfit together. It's very based in basics and just how she combines certain pieces that are all still part of her personal style. So feminine with you know some nice heels and a structured blazer, but still rock and roll with a graphic tee and some accessories. Okay, I had to do this next look because it's very, it's kind of an ode to my Canadian heritage. This one is a really good Canadian tuxedo vibe. So here she's got some high-waisted ripped jeans that are ripped at the hem and ripped at the knees. Some, again, another pair of, these look like pointy toe like slingbacks. I don't have anything like that in black, so I'm gonna see what I can come up with. So I tried this outfit with a black shoe that wasn't pointy and I felt like it fell a little short. So I think that pointy toe on the on the boot or on the shoe really is the key to this sort of look. And any look that Anita Bing really puts together, I think in her style, I find it's in the shoe where she really ties the look together and makes it either really feminine or even rock and roll. So it's not necessarily the color. I think it's the shape and silhouette that you can pay attention to and see what you've got and make substitutions where they make sense. So instead of these black pointy toe slingbacks, 
I did have a pair of white ones, so I decided to switch out all the black elements in this outfit and switch it to white because that's what I had. So to put this look together, I'm wearing my mom's Levi 531s. These are vintage jeans from mom's closet. Gotta love it. I love these jeans and they, there's something just so delicious about a pre-worn in pair of vintage jeans and even better that they're my mom. But these jeans worked really well with this look. She's got an oversized denim jacket here. This is all probably from her brand, but you can see here, I'm wearing all basically vintage when it comes to the main elements of this look. So this is a Levi cropped denim jacket that I thrifted in Toronto's Kensington Market many years ago. Mine's a little more cropped than hers in this photo, but I think it still really works. And then she's just got a basic crew neck t-shirt. So I'm wearing this one from Organic Basics. So I think the silhouette and the vibe still comes through in this look. And and I'm just so happy that she's doing a Canadian tuxedo. It's so good. So here's another Anina Bing classic look and I'm really starting to see a pattern in her vibe. She loves jeans, she loves leather, and she loves cool shoes. So right here she's wearing a high-waisted straight leg knot with no distressing pair of denim. So I decided to throw on again those same 90s cheeky ankle straight jeans from Everlane. I've got my organic basics t-shirt because she's just got a plain white tee here. And this is an old faux leather jacket that I've had for quite some time now from Zara. And I didn't have any of these kind of cool, crazy, multicolored boots that she's wearing here. Obviously that is the kind of pop and je ne sais quoi kind of vibe that she's doing here. She kind of really always throws in, again, something crazy with the shoe or the sunglasses or the bag or the accessories. In this outfit, it's obviously the shoe. I don't have anything quite like that, so I decided to go really classic. These are an old pair of heel Chelsea boots that I've had for like 10 years from Zara, but they still have that pointy toe, that elongating element that I'm going for. And this is just a really classic, for me, it ended up being a really classic black and white rock and roll kind of style. Jeans and a t-shirt go together all the time. Moto jacket just make it that much more edgy. And then again, putting this look together with a really cool boot or a feminine shoe just keeps it a little more balanced as opposed to, for example, if I threw on a pair of Doc Martens that would look really kind of punk rock and chunky and that's not the vibe that I'm looking for. We want to stay long and lean and feminine but still rock and roll and cool. But here is another really easy classic a Nina Bing look. This time the silhouette is much more flowy and kind of easy breezy, but I still really like it because it's monochromatic, it's all black, so it still will look really structured even if all the pieces are oversized. So here she's wearing um, an oversized, it looks like a button up of some kind, and a pair of high-waisted wide leg pleated trousers. And it looks like she's got those same slingbacks on that she was wearing in some of the other photos. I don't have any black button-up t-shirts or long sleeve button-ups for that matter. So I just decided to grab a basic black crew neck t-shirt. This one's from 1920 New York. And then I paired that with my Aritzia Siddiqui pants. I've had these for many years. They're just a really nice flowy and actually summer appropriate wide leg pair of trousers. So they're really easy, breezy and comfortable. And in this look, I could have gone with the white slingbacks, but I really wanted to keep it monochromatic because that's kind of the vibe that she has going in her photo. So I just grabbed my Zara boots. Again, they still have that pointy toe, so it keeps me elongated, it keeps it feminine. This is just a really cool, easy look. And then finally, I really love this outfit because it's really kind of combining our reality right now, which is work from home, quarantine cozy, staying comfortable, kind of jogger sweatpant kind of vibe. But I really like the idea of the contrast. So on the top, it's very casual and rock and roll. She's got a graphic tee here with her oversized leather jacket. And for Anine, it's really cool because she is really all about detail. So I really like how she rolled the sleeves of this leather jacket. I tried to do that here. Mine is a little bit more fitted than hers, but I still think it looks kind of cool. And then she's got a pair of these jogger style sweatpants. My favorite thing about this is that she decided to, instead of like going super typical and throwing on a pair of sneakers or something like that, she actually put on a really feminine elevated boot with the kitten heel and again that pointy toe. I think it really adds something a little unexpected, which is what I really love about this outfit. And it can also just make you feel that much more put together when we're out going to the grocery store because that's now a big event these days. I am wearing the t-shirt that she is wearing in this photo, but I just want to give you an example of how you absolutely do not need the exact piece to achieve the exact same look. So I switched out that graphic tee from Anina's brand to this one that I thrifted. Again, it's just the elements of the graphic tee, the moto jacket, 
the feminine booty and the really comfy, cozy joggers. So again, you really don't need the exact pieces. It's just the elements, the details that you can kind of capture using what you already have in your closet. So that's it for my recreating my favorite style muse, Anina Bing's looks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and kind of got some ideas as to how you can use what you have at home in your own closet to recreate looks that you have seen on Pinterest, Instagram, or on your favorite blogger, influencer, or whatever, and to start recreating them at home. Let me know if you like this video, if you want me to do any other bloggers, if there's a style muse that you really enjoy in particular, let me know and I'll try my best and do that. Leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to hit subscribe if you wanna see more and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.